Glasgow, a world famous city, a powerhouse of the Industrial Revolution, and today helping the world address some of the key global challenges. Glasgow's excellence in science, engineering, technology and medical research, reflected here in the city science centre, is helping to improve people's lives in Scotland and around the world. The Glasgow City of Science initiative aims to raise awareness about the world-leading research being carried out in the city every day. In Glasgow we're really fortunate to have leading world brains that are working in the city, in industry, in our universities. And the main reason that Glasgow City of Science exists is to help join these players up and to coordinate how we move forward in getting benefits from science. From Dunlop's tyre to Graham Bell's telephone, Scotland was renowned for her inventions. Glasgow's innovation and science excellence formed the basis for its industrial heritage and economic prosperity. Science, medicine, engineering, technology, over the centuries it's contributed hugely to the great well-being of the city of Glasgow, to the great industrialisation of the city of Glasgow, and indeed the heart of the Industrial Revolution. Just as it did in the city's industrial past, Glasgow's scientific community continues to provide the skills and knowledge base required to meet the different demands of the 21st century. Climate change is one of the biggest challenges facing the global community. Scientists and engineers here in Glasgow are playing a vital role in the search for solutions, as well as providing answers to the energy challenges we face in Scotland and elsewhere. Imagining Glasgow as a low carbon centre in the world will attract socially minded companies, but socially minded companies with big checkbooks that are looking to establish headquarters, establish new products and create industries in Scotland. So for me, Glasgow can be an absolute catalyst for the industrial base for the 21st century. Glasgow's economy also benefits from the advances being made in life sciences, advances that are driving the development of more effective medicines. Glasgow has always excelled at medical research, providing the world with some famous discoveries and inventions. Today, the city scientists are continuing to build upon that reputation. Patients in Glasgow have benefited directly from this progress. Our scientists have helped to develop statins for the control of cholesterol. They've pioneered research into the treatment of cancer, heart disease and stroke. We can see benefits from working directly with the NHS and local population and I think by this very good relationship with local patients, local volunteers, we can truly do translational medicine that is bring discoveries from the bench to the patient. The economic potential for science and engineering to change our lives can be seen in the city today as we prepare to host the Commonwealth Games in 2014. Half a billion pounds is being spent on this high profile project. That's creating jobs now in apprenticeships. It will create business spaces and venues which our citizens can enjoy and in which they'll be able to uh, enjoy the same high tech facilities that international athletes have enjoyed. And it will bring a new face to communities across the city. The, the regeneration will be tangible. Inspiring young people about science is also key to Glasgow's future. That's achieved by the Interactive Science Centre on the Clyde and many other initiatives, including the Glasgow Science Festival. Yeah, I like it because um, I get to try it exhibits. It's really fun and I like playing with the stuff and looking around it. With the, the Glasgow City of Science, we can act as a, an integrator and coordinator of all science and technology related activities. So we have a focal point where people can, can turn to when they want to, to learn about what is happening in science and technology in the city. Looking ahead, how will Glasgow City of Science define success? There will be more international students wanting to study in our universities and colleges will be the venue of choice for international conferences describing cutting-edge science and technology and of course it'll be the creation of new jobs and new industries and new high-tech businesses. We need to 
tell people more about science and how that science can make their lives uh, more uh, effective and indeed a, a happier place to be. Glasgow's ready for that. Glasgow's miles better. This is an ambitious project that aims to underline Glasgow's world-renowned scientific excellence. I am a scientist. I studied science at school and at university, and I'm passionate about science communication, especially to young people. And what really excites me about the City of Science initiative is that it aims to raise awareness to a wide range of target audiences about the importance of science, how science can benefit all of our lives. And I think we should be proud that Glasgow's a world leader.